जय हिंद टू ऑल माय नेम इज डॉक्टर दिव्या शर्मा टुडेज वीडियो लेक्चर इज ऑन इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट टाइमर इट्स कोड इज के ई सी फाइव जीरो वन नाउ दीज आर द कंटेंट्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो लेक्चर ट्रिपल फाइव टाइमर आईसी फंक्शनल ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ ट्रिपल ट्रिपल फाइव टाइमर आईसी एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ट्रिपल फाइव टाइमर आईसी दैट आर मोनोस्टेबल एंड अस्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेटर यूजिंग ट्रिपल फाइव टाइमर आईसी now first this is the introduction the triple five timer ic was designed in 1971 by this signetic corporation and basically it is highly stable circuit used to generate time delays or oscillations now single triple five timer can provide time delay ranging from microseconds to hours it operates from a wide range of power supplies from ranging from 5 volt to 15 volt uh, supply voltage its main components in the functional block diagram of this uh, triple five timer ic has two comparator power amplifier rs flip flop and a discharge capacitor power amplifier works as an inverter here if you are giving input 0 then its output is 1 and if its input is 1 then output is 0 so these are the main components of this uh, functional block diagram of triple five timer ic So this is the pin configuration of triple five timer IC. Here, uh, how many pins are there? Eight pins are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. Now, first pin identifies. This is uh, connected to ground. Second is triggering input. Means you are giving input in the form of trigger. Here, third pin is used as an output. Fourth pin is reset pin, and the fifth one is control voltage. And sixth is threshold, uh, threshold, and the seventh is discharge, and the eighth pin is VCC plus VCC. So this is the description now here. Means all terminals are connected to with respect to this ground. And triggering, we are using here triggering input to this pin number two in this IC triple five timer IC. Output pin here. This is the output pin. If you are connecting load, so you can connect load. Uh, is of two types first you can connect load in between output and ground means pin number 3 and ground that is normally off you can say that is normally off if your load is connected in between pin number 1 and 3 if your load is connected in pin number 3 and in between pin number 3 and 8 that is normally on it means load is connected in between pin number 3 and 8 now the next is control voltage pin number 5 pin number 6 is threshold and pin number 7 so these three pins we will discuss in the functional diagram of uh, triple five timer ic now here pin 8 that this is vcc power supply we will give from this pin number 8 and we can give minimum voltage that is plus 5 volt and maximum you can give 15 volt so this is the range of power supply so this is the description of each pin in this ic triple five timer next we will discuss with the functional block diagram of this triple five timer ic so this is the functional block diagram of triple five timer ic in which you have two comparator it is it is defined as upper comparator and this one is lower comparator so this is the main component of this functional block diagram of this triple five timer ic this is the one one main component now second one is inverter it is power amplifier here we can connect power amplifier so this power amplifier work as an inverter inverter means as you all know if you are giving input 0 then output is 1 and vice versa right now here is a flip this is the second component now third component is rs flip flop here it is rs flip flop is connected here so as you all know the truth table of rs flip flop if r and s both are 0 0 means if you have two inputs are there how many combinations are there for these two inputs four combinations are there 0 0 Zero one one zero one one. So you can make a truth table of this RS flip flop where you have four combinations. Now first we will start with this zero zero. If your inputs are zero zero, it means your outputs are hold state. So you will uh, get here output. 
which is hold state means um, the output which is previously stored in the this RS flip flop. So we will get that output in this hold state. Now here, if your inputs are zero and one, it means R is zero zero, S is zero one. R S flip flop. It means it stands for R means reset, and S means set. So if your R is zero and S is one, it means R is zero. If S is one, then output is one. It means what? If your set is high, then output is high. If set is low, output is low. So where you have input zero one, your output is one. Q is one, and Q bar is the complement of Q. So if Q is one, then Q bar is zero. Now if the next state, next we are uh, taking R is equal to one and S is equal to zero. In this case, your output is zero. Uh, it means output is zero means Q is zero, and Q bar is the complement of the Q. Then that is equal to one. Now the next stage is both R one means R is also set and S is also set means both R uh, logically high. Then you will give you can see this here is the output of undefined states or you can say undefined states or don't care conditions, right? So this is the truth table or you can say this is the working of this R S vector. So the third this is the third main component of the of this function block diagram of triple five timer IC. Now the last one is Discharge means discharge capacitor is here. So these are the four main components. Now how it uh, this functional block diagram will work? Now here you can see these are two comparators. As you all know, now in this comparator, this positive terminal is connected to pin number six threshold, and pin num uh, and this negative terminal of this upper comparator is connected to control. Now here. This is pin number five. This is pin number six. So here you can see if your positive terminal of this comparator is high, if you are comparing as uh, the negative terminal of this upper comparator, if it is high, means it, if it is high, it means you will get output for this comparator is plus V saturation. And here you have to define the output in form of zero or one. If it is plus V saturation, you can say it is sorry, it is one. Means logically high. If your positive terminal is low as compared to the negative terminal of this upper comparator, it means your output is in form of minus V saturation. Minus V saturation means that is defined by logically zero. Logic zero. It means your output is zero here. Okay. So this is the working of this upper comparator here. In this case, you have to follow the rules for this lower comparator also. It means positive terminal of this lower comparator. If it is high, then you will get output here one. And if negative terminal of this uh, lower comparator is low, then you will get how output here zero. So this is the working of these two comparators. How you can get output according to your inputs. Now you can see here. Power supply is VCC, and here you have three resistances are of five kilo ohm. Means voltage drop across these three resistances are same. It means if power supply is VCC, it means here voltage drop is one by three VCC. Here is also same one by three VCC. Here is also same one by three VCC. Okay. Now, if you want to check volt. Voltage across this point means across this five pin. So you can see here voltage is drop across this five kilo ohm resistance is that is equal to one by three VCC. It means total VCC and here is voltage drop of one by three VCC. It means one minus one by three VCC and that is equal to two by three VCC. And here at this point your voltage is two by three VCC. Okay. Or you can say you can calculate across this point that is equal, sorry uh, across this point this, your voltage is two by three VCC across this point six. Now here this is your second resistance that is of five kilo ohm. Now you have to find out voltage across this point because you have here your control voltage threshold voltage you have to say so threshold voltage across this point that is calculated two by three VCC and here. At this point, here is uh, our resistor five kilo ohm. Now, after this, here is also one by three, one uh, by three VCC voltage drop. 
so 1 by 3 voltage drop is here now if you want to calculate here power at this point so that is equal to what that is 1 by 3 vcc okay now here across this point here is also a voltage drop of 1 by 3 vcc if you are calculating voltage at this point that is equal to 1 by 3 vcc so here if you are calculating voltage that is equal to 2 by 3 vcc at this point here is 1 by 3 vcc and here in this functional block diagram there is there is an rs flip flop here is a transistor that is represented by q2 here is also a transistor that is represented as by q1 now here is a power amplifier and this is the output pin of this functional block diagram of triple five timer ic here is a reset pin initially you have to uh, reset this functional block diagram that is equal to high means reset if it is high then your then your uh, functional block diagram will reset okay now pin number six is represented as threshold pin number five as we already discussed in the pin diagram of triple five timer i see that pin diagram five pin five is control pin two here you have to give triggering means if we are taking the applications of i triple five timer i see there are two types mono stable and a stable now in mono stable multi vibrator we have we have to give input through this pin 2 means triggering input so we have to give input through the, uh, uh, through this pin 2 now seventh pin is discharge pin and it is connected to capacitor so this is the description of this functional block diagram of triple five timer ic so we will discuss later uh, in the application of triple uh, five timer ic uh, in triple uh, five application of triple uh, five timer ic that is first one is mono stable multi vibrator ic so these are the applications of triple five timer IC are in two main categories. First one is mono stable multi vibrator in which here producing a single pulse when triggered. When you are giving input input uh, input uh, in form of triggering, it means what? It means uh, triggering is always high triggering is always high if you are uh, if you are giving input triggering it means your high is decreasing means you you are giving triggering for some duration that is means you are giving input low okay now a stable multi vibrator it produces a square wave okay so what is the difference in between mono stable and multi mono stable and a stable multi vibrator here is a difference that in mono stable multi vibrator we are giving input in form of triggering form and the uh, stable multi vibrator it is in the now this is the block diagram of mono stable multi vibrator here is a uh, it is oftenly uh, called as one shot multi vibrator so this is a triple five timer ic in which you have eight pins pin number one is connected to ground pin number two you have to give input from this pin number two pin number three here it is uh, sorry pin number three is connected uh, pin number three will give you the output in triple five timer ic pin number four is used for a reset means you have to initially reset this uh, pin by giving here one now the next is pin number five it, it is control voltage here you have to connect a capacitor and capacitor is connected to ground now the next pin is sixth pin that is threshold and the seventh pin is used to discharge the capacitor now the eighth pin is vcc power supply so here voltage is the minimum is plus 5 volt and maximum is 15 volt and it is connected to vcc power supply so this is the block diagram of this uh, mono stable multi vibrator here this is the same as you have done the functional diagram of triple five timer ic here is the difference is that you have to connect here resistor in between vcc and discharge pin and a capacitor in between threshold and ground so here difference is that you are connecting here r and c now this is the functional block diagram of triple five mono stable triple five timer ic here this is rs flip flop two comparator are there upper comparator and lower comparator two transistors are there q1 and q2 now here is a reset pin uh, this one is your reset pin now this is your power amplifier is used as an inverter now here this is your power supply plus vcc here are four three resistances why this this triple five timer is known as triple five ic triple five means you are using here 
थ्री रेसिस्टेंसेस आर हेयर इन दिस फंक्शनल डायग्राम ऑफ ट्रिपल फाइव टाइमर आईसी ऑफ फाइव किलो ओम सो दैट्स वाई दिस इज नोन एज ट्रिपल फाइव टाइमर आईसी Here you you have in this functional diagram of uh, this monostable multi vibrator. Here are three resistances are there of five kilo ohm. Now, and here is a resistor is connected in between VCC to this capacitor and capacitor is connected to ground. Now we will start and this second pin we have to give here input triggering input from this uh, pin number two. Now we will start with the working of this monostable multivibrator using triple five timer IC. First, we have to reset this circuit. If you reset, you are resetting this circuit. It means it is equal to one. If it is equal to one, so your transistor Q one is also one. It means you are giving input to this transistor uh, Q two is equal to one. It means Q two is on. Now Q two is on. It means This is connected to V reference. Your means it it if it is on it no on means short circuit. So output for this uh, transistor that is equal to one it means one is connected to here uh, input of this power amplifier. If it is one, it means your output is zero. And if it is one, your transistor Q one is also on and Q one is connected to this capacitor C. and it is capacitor is connected to ground it means your circuit your uh, if uh, if q1 is means it is on and it is connected to capacitor means capacitor will start will uh, will be equal to zero means discharge this capacitor so initially you are considering here capacitor voltage is zero output is also here zero you are getting here output is zero when you are resetting this Uh, reset this uh, functional uh, block diagram of this triple bonus means in if your triggering is not used means triggering input is not used generally it is not used so it is connected to vcc but if you are giving here input triggering triggering input then your output means triggering input is low so here you are giving low low means you are giving here zero okay now if it is zero and the positive terminal of this lower comparator is 1 by 3 vcc and here this uh, upper comparator here this is 2 by 3 vcc and the positive terminal is connected to this capacitor that is equal to zero okay if it is zero this is inverting non inverting sorry inverting terminal of this upper comparator is equal to 2 by 3 vcc and here in the if you are taking the case of lower comparator here positive terminal is connected to 1 by 3 vcc and negative terminal is connected to 0 if it is initially it is 1 right if it is 1 here capacitor across this capacitor voltage is equal to 0 so this is equal to 0 now if you are comparing this lower comparator means positive terminal and negative terminal of this lower comparator if it is 1 by 3 vcc and here voltage is zero so it means positive terminal of this lower comparator is high it means your output is equal to 1 if we are comparing positive terminal or negative terminal of this upper comparator it means positive terminal is equal to here um, here it is equal to 2 by 3 vcc here it is equal to 0 so this one is zero positive terminal is zero negative terminal is 2 by 3 vcc if you are comparing these two terminal of this upper comparator your output is equal to zero now if it is zero and if it is one it means your set is high it means output is equal to high if q is high means q bar is equal to zero if q bar is equal to zero Q means Q bar is equal to zero. It is connected to power amplifier. Your output is equal to one. Okay, this is one only when you are triggering input. Means you are giving here uh, input of this lower comparator. Means one terminal is equal to zero and positive terminal is high. Then only your set is high. So when you are giving triggering, means initially initially your capacitor voltage is zero, output is zero, and triggering is high. When you are triggering here. is equal to 0 means if you are giving here input of this lower comparator no inverting terminal of this lower comparator is equal to 0 and when you are comparing with the positive terminal your output is high it means set is high and your output is equal to high and charger means capacitor will starts charging because if it is 0 it means your q1 is off and if it is off it will not connect to this 
to this uh, capacitor then capacitor starts starts charging uh, it is connected to vcc so it will start charging up to that point where you will get 2 by 3 vcc and in the in the uh, in the path when uh, charger when, when capacitor will start charging then until your capacitor will uh, no, will not complete their charging process if there is another triggering input you are giving then output will not affect output is high in the case when your charging uh, charging is takes place right when capacitor will charge up to 2 by 3 vcc after that it means if your capacitor this is your capacitor input if it is 2 by 3 vcc and this is also 2 by 3 vcc your comparator is high means if it is less than 2 by 3 means if it is less than 2 by 3 vcc means positive terminal non inverting terminal of this upper comparator is low as compared to the inverting terminal of this uh, low upper comparator then your output is equal to high if r is equal to high it means r is equal to high and your set is high so output if r is equal to high it means set is low and your q is equal to zero so your capacitor will start decreasing at this point so this process will repeat uh, repeat uh, and uh, this process will repeat charging and discharging like this means when you are giving triggering then your charging will take place and when you are not giving triggering means your triggering is high then your output will decrease output will decrease to zero voltage so this is the process of this mono stable multi brivator using triple five timer ic now here across this capacitor your voltage is equal to a vc is equal to vcc 1 by 1 minus e ki power minus t upon rc here this is the voltage across this capacitor here we have to find out the time duration time uh, total time uh, taken by this capacitor so capacitor will charge up to this point until it will not get 2 by 3 vcc so highest voltage is 2 by 3 vcc for charging uh, this capacitor vc is equal to 2 by 3 vcc put here this value in this equation put here this value vc is equal to 2 by 3 vcc it means here put here value vc is equal to 2 by 3 vcc is equal to vcc 1 minus e ki power minus t you can consider capital t here capital t by rc now vcc vcc is cancel out find here the value t time period you can find out that is equal to 1 by 1.1 rc second so this is the time duration for charging the capacitor and that is equal to 1.1 rc second so this is the block diagram of this mono stable multi vibrator here uh, sixth and seventh pin are shorted and connected to this capacitor c two pin you have to give input triggering input through this pin two one pin is connected to ground third pin is output for uh, used for the output now fourth and eighth pin are shorted and connected to vcc now here is a resistor is connected in between vcc and pin number 7 so this is the uh, this is the description of this mono stable multi vibrator block diagram of mono stable multi vibrator using triple five timer ic now the second is a stable multi vibrator using triple five timer ic now it is also known as free running multi vibrator a stable do not need trigger pulse for external to change the output the period for low and high can be calculated based on the resistor and cal capacitor value that connected at the outside of the timer now this is the block diagram of a stable multi vibrator using triple five timer ic so this is same this is your ic triple five timer what is the difference in between mono stable and a stable multi vibrator using triple five timer ic sorry more in mono stable multi vibrator my vibrator we have to give triggering input trigger input at pin number 2 but here no need to give it it is it is connected to this capacitor here and here uh, two resistances are connected that is represented as ra and rb ra is connected in between vcc and pin number 7 and rb is connected uh, in between pin number 7 and pin number 
otherwise it is same and you have to calculate output for of this uh, stable multivibrator that is in form of square wave so this working we will discuss in this structure here you have two comparator comparator one and two rs flip flop is also here and here uh, this is your transistor means transistor is connected for the charging process or discharging process so in the process when your capacitor will discharge so here is only via this resistance rb but when your capacitor will char starts charging then it is connected to here vcc and you have two resistances are connected ra and rv in the path when your capacitor will charge charge uh, starts charging right otherwise functional block diagram of this uh, uh, a stable multivibrator is same only the difference is that we are not giving triggering input at this pin number 2 we this is connected to capacitor here when your capacitor will charge it starts charging means decreasing sorry here sorry when your capacitor will charge starts charging so minimum minimum here minus 1 by 3 vcc and maximum uh, capacitor will charge up to maximum point that is 2 by 3 vcc so this is the uh, this is the waveform of this capacitor now uh, here again also you have to reset this uh, uh, functional block diagram when you will reset it so q q bar is equal to here this is connected to reset that is reset pin if it is one if it is one here you have power amplifier if it is reset is one your power amplifier will give you the output zero and this pin is all this pin this three is connected to this transistor and capacitor will starts uh, if your uh, capacitor will uh, it is on if it is one q is one then capacitor uh, this uh, transistor is high it is on on it means it is connected to capacitor so capacitor will discharge now after that if your q means if it is zero it means your tra this transistor is off and if it is off it means your capacitor is connected to vcc via this path where you have two resistances ra and rv it means what it means time duration of charging the capacitor is more as compared to the discharging the capacitor it means discharging is via this rv resistance only and charging is via rb ra and rv so this is the working of this r stable multivibrator using triple five timer ic so here when your charging will start means capacitor will start charging so that is 1 by 3 vcc to 2 by 3 vcc and your output is high when your capacitor will discharge 2 by 3 vcc to 1 by 3 vcc your output is low so this is the waveform of this uh, stable multi vibrator now here find out the time duration sorry time duration for this charging and discharging now here vc you know the capacitor voltage is represented vc is equal to vcc 1 minus e ki power minus t upon rc now here t1 is equal to in the case of means you are uh, finding time t1 that is equal to what vc is equal to put here vc is equal to 2 by 3 vcc and t you can consider t1 so you can find out for t1 from this equation you can find out t1 is equal to what t1 uh, you will get some value for t1 time duration t1 and when you put vc is equal to this is for maximum charging time ma maximum voltage for capacitor and when vc is equal to 1 by 3 vcc this is minimum voltage so find out for this minimum voltage it means what in this equation you have to put the value of vc vc when you will put vc is equal to 2 by 3 vcc consider here t is equal to t1 and in the second equation when you are considering vc is equal to 1 by 3 vcc so put here 1 by 3 vcc and you can find out the value for t2 okay now t high if you have to find out time period for t high that is equal to what t1 minus t2 that is equal to what 0 0.69 ra plus rv into c so this is the time t high on time it means that is known as t on time so on time is equal to 0 0.693 ra plus rb into c and low time means this is off time that is equal to 0 0.693 rb 
into C. So R B R A and R B because because charge capacitor when will capacitor will charge via this resistance R A and R B and when capacitor will discharge so this is uh, through the path where you have R B resistance only. So charging time is more as compared to discharge uh, this discharging time. Now if you have to find out total time period, total time period is equal to T on plus T off. So that is equal to 0.693 RA plus 2 RB RC. It means this is let us consider this is equation one and this is equation two. So add these two equations, you will get here 0.693 RA plus 2 RB into C. Now, if you have to find out frequency, frequency is equal to one upon T. So total time period you are getting here in this equation 0.693 RA plus 2 RB into C. So put here this value, and you will get the frequency that is equal to 1.44 upon R A plus 2 R B into C. Now, next important term is percentage duty cycle. What do you mean by percentage duty cycle? It means your device uh, device for which time your device is on. If your duty cycle is 100 percent. it means your device is on for 100% time and if it is 50% it means your device is uh, half time it is on and half time it is off how you can find out duty cycle it is the ratio of on time upon total time into 100 on time that is represented as t high t high you can put here the value of t high t high is equal to 0.693 ra plus rb into c Now here total time, total time is T high plus T low, so total time is equal to 0.693 R A plus 2 R B into C. So put here this equation number one and this equation number three here, equation one upon equation three into hundred. So you can find out percentage duty cycle when you will put the value of T high and T low. And duty cycle is percentage duty cycle is defined as high time upon total time into hundred. now these are the applications of uh, this triple five time ic you can use it in schmistig pulse position modulation pulse width modulation linear ramp generator so these are the application for this now conclusion of this triple five timer ic it can produce very accurate and stable time delays from microseconds to hours it can also be used with the supply voltage varying from 5 to 15 volt timer can be used in most stable mode of operation or a stable mode of operation it has various applications including wave generator missing pulse detector frequency divider pulse width modulator burglar alarm fsk generator ram generator pulse position modulator etc these are the references of this uh, triple five timer ic linear integrated circuit fourth edition by d roy choudhury open and linear integrated circuit this is fourth edition by ramakant age gaikwad so these are the references of this topic you can refer thank you